Uh, yes, welcome to the Verbuttal Entertainment. If you're viewing this, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we really would appreciate it and share the video after you can, you know what I mean? Let everybody see this wonderful channel that's growing. Oh yeah, so we talking about Javante Tank Davis saying he will whoop everybody behind at 1.30 and probably at 1.40. So was he telling the truth? Is he lying or what do you guys think? Well, let me tell you guys something. Javante Tank Davis is the best fighter at 1.30, 1.35 and 1.40. Now, I mean, it's some guys at 140 that probably get some competition, but, you know, he probably get through them. You know, I, I, I get 50-50 uh, some of the bigger names at 140. But um, in terms of all the other weight classes, he fall apart, man. You can see at the fight he did at um, this weekend with Cruz, you know, he broke his hand. He adjusted. And like um, Coach Calvin always said, we never seen the best of him. We never really seen him challenge in box. And this time... Through adversity, he started boxing. And what boxing clinic he put on. You know, Cruz kept coming in. Cruz said he knew Tank Davis' um, hand was broken in the sixth round, so he tried to um, pull it on more. But what did Javante do? Start pivoting, jabbing, hooks, right? All right hand through the 10th, 11th, and 12th. All right, he did not throw maybe one punch with his left hand. And now you, if you see his left hand, it's swollen. It's look like a big, big pillow. So let me tell y'all, man, this man can adjust to any situation. You know what I mean? You see the adversity that he went through, and he still came out on top. See, sometimes, guys, let me say this. You guys, Floyd Mayweather is not fighting. Javante Davis is fighting. So you got to give him benefit of the doubt when he's fighting. He's not Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, we know you guys don't care about Floyd. Yeah, but you... You taking it out on um, Javante because you don't like Floyd, you know what I mean. But yet, if you see the crowds everywhere he goes, they love him. You know what I mean? Atlanta, Vegas, um, New York City, Baltimore. I mean, you, I mean, what, what? Um, California. Wherever he goes, he attracts the best. A crowd, you know what I mean? The, the the stars all over the world come to see this young guy fight. But why? Is it his charisma? Is his um, showmanship? Is his attitude that um, he can't be beat? Is it because he knocks most of his people out? He has, what, 98, 98% knockoff ratio now? Something like that? So, um, let me tell you guys this. Devin Haney cannot beat Javante Davis. And why he can't beat Javante Davis because his heart would give him in trouble. Teofimo Lopez cannot beat Javante Davis because he's too wild and he's too awkward and he's not focused. You know what I mean? Shakur Stevenson can't beat Javante Davis because he's too small. He's flat-footed. He can't move as well as Devin Haney, for, for instance. You know what I mean? Gary Russell can't beat um, Javante Davis because he's just too small. Have all the abilities in the world. If he was a little bit more bigger, I would make that a 50-50 uh, uh, fight or a 60-40 fight Javante Davis. But he can't beat him. Ryan Garcia cannot beat him because all he has is a left hook. He's one-dimensional. I mean, he don't even move. He's flat-footed and he relies on the left hook all the time. And if the left hook don't land, what you going to do? What is he going to do? So, you know, it's, you can break it down and say, yeah, yeah, it's 50-50 with Devin. It's 50-60-40 with T.O. It's, you know, 80-20 uh, with Ryan or whatever you want to call it. Lomachenko, he cannot beat Javante. This is just my assessment and my opinion. He cannot be tanked because he's getting older, you know what I mean? And he just does the same thing. He pivot and move. He try to do the side on sound. He's just too small for Javante Dave. Javante stalk him and stop him, you know what I mean? So if this week didn't show you guys that Devin Haney is capping, he don't want to fight Javante Davis. He don't want to fight him. His father is capping. He's just calling names out. That's all they doing. Deep in the inside, they be like, oh, nah, we're going to call him out, but we're not going to fight him. We ain't going to fight him, man. We're just going to let the people know that we called him out. Yeah, we called him out, 
Well, in terms of getting in the ring with him, nah, Devin, we're not ready for that yet. You know what I mean? Because you, you let your heart get in the way of your brain sometimes. You get in there and want to get in there and pop, 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 pop. But he pop you, you're going to be out. So we ain't going to do that right now, Devin. So don't believe in the bull crap when people are calling each other out. That, that stuff is just a myth, man. You know, I can call a whole bunch of people out right now. Do I mean I want them? No. It, but I let the people in the world, the people, the podcasts and the social media, all the media out there that said, oh, yeah, rebuttal called this guy out. Rebuttal called that guy out. Oh, yeah, he he, he want this guy. And, and deep in the inside, no, I don't. So, so that's these boxers out here now today. You know what I mean? Anybody, anybody can call a dude name out. You know what I mean? But until they sign that pen to that paper, Please stop listening to that bull. Just stop listening to it. Because it, it don't it doesn't matter to the pen is signed to the paper. You know what I mean? Because they can say this. Ah, yeah, I've been calling them out. I called everybody. Then the other people can say, nah, we ain't heard nothing from him. What are you talking about? He he called me out. Ain't nobody called me. The phone ain't ring. You know, he ain't called Al. He ain't called Leonard or nothing like that, man. So what is y'all talking about? So, man, I'm telling you guys, please. Please stop listening to the he say, she say. That was that was people outside. That was um, gossiping people do. Oh, the he say, she say, the word on the street and all this and all that. Sometimes you got to listen, hear from the horse's mouth. You got to hear from the horse's mouth. Just like, I'm just going to give you a quick answer. Like Keith Thurman said, he's coming back in January. That's the horse's mouth. You know what I mean? So the third and fourth horse, the motherfuckers are always coming in last place. So we got to stop listening to them. So, in terms of them two fighting, it probably don't happen. You know what I mean? It might not happen. But like Javante said, he's the king of the castle. And there's nobody else behind him but him. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people that go on close second and the close third and the close fourth. But when you come to the number one at 135, Javante Tank David is the number one fighter at 135 without a doubt. And you can let these people spread the false narrative. Because, you know, let me tell y'all something, man. I would love to have a lot of these um, um, tra trainers, you know what I mean, the um, the promoters on you know, on my podcast whenever I get bigger. You know, I'd love to have them on there. But I'm not going to bite my tongue for nobody. I'm just going to tell you how I feel and how I think things is going and how I think things is playing. So just because you come on my podcast, you know what I mean, to let me know what's going on, that don't mean I'm going to sugarcoat shit and bite my tongue for you. And that's the way stuff should be in podcasting. And any professional, sports or general, that's your, people have the right to their own opinion. Their own. We all have our own opinion. And like today, this video, I have my own opinion. So when these guys like Devin Haney say he's calling these people out and Bill say he's doing this and doing that, no, don't believe the hype. You know what I mean? Because Tank will tell you, I ain't heard nothing from nobody. Al ain't told me nothing. Floyd ain't told me nothing. Leonard ain't told me nothing. But it's always a hype train and you got to build yourself up to par. But for right now, hopefully, Javante Davis can get his hand fixed, get his hand healed, and Cinco de Mayo, hopefully he'll be fighting somebody, you know, in the top three or four, but most likely, I think it's going to be Roly Romero. Watch my word, don't take it from me, but that's what I think it's going to be, Roly. And if it is, hey, who am I? You know what I mean? I just want to see the best fight the best, and that's all I want to see. You know, Roly considers himself one of the best, so if it's a number, um, never stumbling block in tank way, get him, get him out of the way and move forward. You know what I mean? Because eventually, if he keep beating these guys, he's going to have to fight the... <laughs> The people who y'all said it's better for him to fight. Like Devin and Ryan and uh well Tio. If Tio moved to one forty, we are gonna get him out the category. Like Devin, like Ryan, like Lomachenko, and people like that. So let's stop spreading these fake narratives about these guys calling these guys out, saying that they wanna fight these guys and all just because they shouting the motherfucker dude's name. You know what I mean? So the rebuttal entertainment. Hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. If you're going to view this, please, you know, share the video. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. And um, I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section. And we will talk to you guys later. Peace.